Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today for another video. I wanted to share a bit of an experience, a strange experience that I had about two years ago, which has sort of bugged me on and off ever since. And with you guys being the knowledgeable amateur radio community out there that are watching these videos, I thought I'd put the question to you in, a, in a, an attempt to solve what happened. So, about two years ago, I was at Jodrell Bank. Now, Jodrell Bank is the Centre for Astrophysics in Cheshire in the UK. And basically, it's a facility that houses radio telescopes and one of the largest radio telescopes in the world, which is the Lovell Telescope. And um, they use those for radio astronomy. Um, it's an amazing facility, open to the public. There's a visitor centre there and it, you know, it makes a great morning or afternoon out. Um, so I went a couple of years ago. I was on my own, I was on day off and I thought I'll just have a drive down to Jodrell Bank and, um, and have another look at it because it's, it's just such a good place. Now, I... On the approach, on the approach road into Jodrell Bank, there's signs everywhere and signs in the car park that say no mobile, mobile phones whatsoever. It's a mobile phone free zone, and they ask you at reception when you check in to turn your mobile phone off. And the reason for this, I was talking to an engineer there. They said that any interference from a mobile phone um, or any radio source, such as an aircraft passing overhead or um, you know, a, a taxi driving past Keeney's radio can really interfere with the radio telescopes and it can it can destroy a day or a week's um, of, worth of data. So it's a radio free, radio clean zone. So I turned my mobile phone off, had a look around the facility, um, had a really, really good time. And I came out and as I got back to my car in the car park, which is still inside the facility, I turned my phone back on and I'd had a missed call on my phone. So what I did was I called back straight away. Now it was an iPhone 6. So similar to this, this is a 7. Um, it was an iPhone 6 I was using. I pressed call back, I put the phone to my ear and you know usually if you have a low signal you have a, a period of a few seconds of silence um, where the call is connected and then the dun, dun, the ring will, will start to happen. I put the phone to my ear and in five or six seconds between me putting my phone to the to my ear and hearing the ringing tone I heard a voice and it was it, it said a few words um, and went dead I didn't hear anything else now it happened quite quick so I, I couldn't tell what was said but it was it was if I'd have known it was going to happen I would have been able to hear it it was legible it was it was English words it was um, analog sort of FM sort of thing in terms it wasn't scrambled it wasn't a digital mode that I couldn't tell what was being said I just couldn't I just didn't catch what was said and as I said, it, it, it said about five or six words and then went dead. And then the phone call connected. It started to ring and then the person I was ringing answered and the phone call was, was normal. Now, the voice that I heard, it wasn't another mobile phone call I was hearing. Um, it, it sounded like... It, it sounded like a sort of like a command room or a control room, like an air traffic control tower or you know a dispatch room, something like that. So it was quite. It sounded quite an official sort of voice, but I didn't catch what was said. It wasn't like I was hearing someone on a walkie-talkie or something like that. Um, it was as if I thought maybe it was a command, you know, a control room at Jodrell Bank that was interfering. But I thought if if they were using radios there, which they do use radios, I've, I've seen them in the in one of the control rooms there. They're just analog Motorola's that they use, so that wouldn't interfere with my mobile phone. So the only other sort of plausible explanation, and I say plausible loosely because I think I know deep down it, it wouldn't happen anyway, is that Jodrell Bank is on the end of of Manchester Airport's. Um, approach and departure route for runway 23 left and 05 right it's just off the approach so I was thinking if an aircraft has took off overhead or is landing and they've transmitted to tower out of the antennas on the bottom of the aircraft maybe the signal hit one of the parabolic dishes because the the dishes on those telescopes are big parabolic dishes and I thought maybe one of them concentrated the the signal straight at my phone and it interfered with the phone but that wouldn't happen I know I know that wouldn't happen. The the um, aircraft signal would be AM, and mobile phones use digital technology, and the front end um, re receivers on mobile phones are much more um, sort of robust and well built and well made than those that are in a radio. So it wouldn't it wouldn't receive interference like that. So I think I know that that explanation is probably a load of rubbish. But I've been racking my brains, guys, for two years. I just can't work out what it was. As I said, I picked up my phone press call back and in those few seconds I heard vo I heard a voice down the phone um, as I say it was like a, some sort of con control centre command centre control tower something like that 
it went off. The phone connected fine. I never heard it again. So, yeah, I thought I'd ask the question, guys. I'm, I'm sure there's someone out there that will have some, maybe some sort of explanation. It was very strange. It happened, like, say, two, maybe even three years ago now. Um, and I never heard it since. I actually tried making a phone call in the car park last time I was there, and um, it never happened. So, yeah, if you've got any sort of suggestions of what it could have been, then... Um, please drop a comment in the box below there's a lot of stuff going on there a lot of technologically advanced stuff going on there those radios transmit signals into deep space and listen for responses and listen to how stuff bounces back and how other radio signals come from space so it's quite a high-tech place but i'll to this day i still wonder what happened so yeah if you've got any idea drop me a comment in the box below if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then make sure you subscribe. I've got plenty more coming. And all that's left to say is 7-3. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.